This tutorial shows how to use the Orchestrator Process Recorder to step through a business process and create a form request for an orchestration. You use the Orchestrator Process Recorder to capture the form request actions directly in Enterprise One. It's important to mention here that to access the Process Recorder in Enterprise One, a system administrator must enable it through UDO Feature Security. Also, a system administrator must grant you permission to create service requests through UDO Action Security. In this tutorial, we'll record the steps for adding a part to a manufacturing work order. You begin recording a process just as you would to perform the process manually. We'll start by fast pathing to Work with Manufacturing Work Orders, P48013. You access the process recorder from your user ID drop down menu. In the process recorder, you simply start the recording and perform the steps you want the form request to execute. The process recorder records each control that you click, any row menu taken to access another program or form, and any values that you enter. As you are recording, you can also select any fields that contain values you want the form request to return from Enterprise One. Each time you are done selecting fields, just click the Resume button to continue the recording. When finished, you stop the recording and name the form request. The process recorder has now automatically created a form request. Back in the Orchestrator Studio, you can open the form request created in the process recorder to make any modifications. If you don't immediately see your form request, just click the refresh icon. Each form that was accessed when recording the process in the process recorder displays here in order. When you select a form, you can view the order of actions taken on that form in the order of execution area. Notice that field values entered during the recording appear in the default value column. You can modify or delete these values. Also notice that the input column contains field names, which are variables that you can modify or delete. When you add a form request to an orchestration, you can map orchestration inputs to these variables in the form request. Now we will quickly add the form request, which is a type of service request, to a new, very simple orchestration. Here you can see the list of inputs that the service request needs. We also need to create corresponding inputs to the orchestration. The easiest way to do that is with the Add Inputs to Orchestration button. On the Orchestration Inputs and Values page, we can create the inputs to the orchestration. In this case, the Add Inputs to Orchestration button has saved us a lot of typing by automatically creating the list of inputs that the service request expects. The names of the orchestration inputs don't necessarily need to exactly match the names of the service request inputs, but we do need to tell Orchestrator how they match up. We call this a transformation. The easiest way to define the transformations is to click the Auto Map button. Orchestrator will look for inputs that do have exact matches and automatically map them for you. In this example, all inputs between the orchestration and service request are exact matches, so the transformations are complete. Next, we select Outputs, which we specified in the Process Recorder as Return Values. When we run the orchestration to add the part to the order, these three values are returned. In this tutorial, you have seen how to record steps for a business process as a form request in the Process Recorder, how to open and modify the form request in the Orchestrator Studio, and then how to add that form request to an orchestration and run it. For more information, 
see the J.D. Edwards Enterprise One Tools Orchestrator Guide and visit us online at learnjde.com. 